Hello knowledge seekers, showman from oil and gas field quality control. We always heard about bolt torquing and bolt tensioning. So don't use these two terms as a synonym. It is not. There are tensioning is much beyond the torquing. What is the difference? Let us discuss. Before comparing torque versus tension, first you should understand how a tightened bolt behaves. Bolts that are correctly tightened make use of their elastic properties. To create a tight joint, they must behave like springs. When a load is applied by a torque wrench or a tensioner, the bolt stretches and tries to return to its original length. This tension produced by the load uh, leads to a clamping force, which works with the friction from the bolt threads to produce a secure joint. The difference between torque and tension, torque is the measurement of the force that causes something to rotate. For example, the turning force needed to spin a nut around the threads of a bolt. Tension is a stretch or elongation of the bolt that provides the clamping force of a joint. Bolt torquing and bolt tensioning are both widely accepted ways to seal a joint. Each has different advantages and disadvantages and suits different types of application. Torquing is about the stretching of a bolt or start by turning the nut. This pulls the shank down to the thread's ramp angle. This friction between nut and the component hits a predetermined amount. Tensioning does not turn the nut. To mount the tensioner, the full height of the threads, thickness of the nut above the nut, when hydraulic pressure is applied, the pulling cylinder stretches the bolt. Once the thread shank is stretched, seat the nut and remove the pressure. This is tensioning in very short. Torquing and friction. Let us see the relations. Friction plays a huge part in the torquing operation. As estimated, 10 to 15% of the input torque actually stretches the bolt. The remaining 85 to 90% of the input torque is used to overcome the friction between the threads and under the nut or bolt head. For a garage mechanic needing to change a car wheel or dismantle an engine, a manual handhold wrench is usually enough to get the job done. But more powerful tools are needed for industrial applications, such as pipe flanges in the oil and gas industry, the higher torque output required, and the greater number of bolts make that hydraulically powered torque wrenches a popular choice of tool for these applications. A hydraulically powered torque wrench uses high pressure hydraulic power supplied from an air, battery, or electric driven pump. The higher the pressure, the greater amount of torque applied to the bolt. The unit of measure of torque is usually expressed in foot pound or newton meter. So why use tensioning? Tensioning provides more accuracy at a higher cost. You need ease of control and stability. You need a higher degree of accuracy. You are using a large bolt. Why use torquing then? Torquing is less accurate but more versatile. You need a less expensive solution. You need it simpler to use and your fastener is smaller here. Tightening using the torque. Advantages. Lower cost than tensioning equipment. Longer threads are not required. Less expensive to purchase. More versatile. Simple to use. Cassettes available for application when little clearance between starts. A disadvantage, torquing is slower, each bolt tighten individually, less accurate than tensioning, torsion applied to the fasteners only, various factors create friction and impact on the torque needed, number of times the bolts used, bolt condition and finish, lubrication on thread and nut. How hydraulic tensioning work? Hydraulic tensioning started in 1970 and has since become common in specific and critical applications in oil and gas, subsea, wind and power industries. Typical applications include high pressure flanges with large bolt diameters and critical joints, unlike bolt torquing. A bolt tensioner works in a different way 
to a torque wrench. Instead of applying torque to rotate a knot, which then creates bolt load, a tensioner grabs and pulls the threads protruding beyond a knot, stretching the bolt axially, lifting the knot from the surface and therefore allowing the knot to be rotated back to the flanges with a minimal amount of torque. So first we need to stretch the bolt, then we tie the knot with a minimal torque. The unit of measure used for the bolt load or tension is usually expressed either pounds of force or kilonewton. When the pressure to the tensioner is re released, the elasticity in the bolt makes it want to return to its unstretched state, therefore creating a tension that keeps the joint together. General tensioning procedure, the major steps. The bolt tensioner is fitted over the start. Step two is hydraulic pressure is applied to the tensioner which stretches the start. Step three, the start knot is wound down against the joint force. Step four, pressure is released and the tool is removed. You can see some tensioning machines already fitted over the flange assembly. Here is a tensioning machine, a schematic 3D photo. Hydraulic oil flows into the load cell. Load generated by the load cell is transferred into the puller. Puller transfers the load directly into the bolt. The nut lifts clear to the flange surface due to the bolt stretch. The socket is used to turn the nut down, retaining the load. When it is set up on the flange bolts, tensioner gets the job done much faster than the torque wrenches. This is because several uh, tensioner cells can be tightened simultaneously. Also, cross stock or load sharing between neighboring bolts is minimized, which results in more uniform tension among bolts. As tensioners are unaffected by frictional losses, they provide more accuracy than torque wrenches, making them specially suited for critical flange joints, such as those in the nuclear power sector, Operating pressure of tensioners are typically higher than the hydraulic torque wrenches, can range from 10,000 psi or 690 bar up to 22,000 psi, which is 1,379 bar. If you want to buy tensioning equipment, you will need a much bigger budget than you would if buying torque wrenches. There are also many extra considerations to take into account to make sure that the tensioning cells fit correctly. These include bolt diameter, washer thickness, washer diameter, bolt grade, load requirement, length of free start protrusion. More start protrusion is needed than torquing. Torque versus tension. This is our preliminary question. Which is the best? The answer to the torque versus tension depends upon a number of things. How critical are the joints? How accessible are the joint components? Which equipment is available? How many joints are to be worked on? Budget available. This is very important. Tensioning is very costly. The equipment and the service also. What are the skills of the people required to do the job? Torquing is flexible, versatile and less expensive. However, it would be wrong to make your decision on budget alone, dealing with an issue on a critical flange joint in the future could incur significant losses. Tensioners offer more accuracy. They are faster, they often require a large investment and are more complex. Also bear in mind that if the clearance between the start is tight, some joints may need to be tensioned in stages. Instead of the preferred scenario, all the bolts can be tightened simultaneously. When this is the case, then a suitable bolting pattern should be followed. Tightening using tensioning. Here are some advantages and disadvantages. Advantages are stability and ease of control, highly accurate, minimal account of torque to be tightened, the knot on the start, minimal amount of torque to tighten the knot on the start minimal load sharing or cross stock between neighboring starts. Disadvantages, usually more expensive, extra measurements and consideration needed, bolt diameter, washer thickness, washer diameter, bolt grade, load requirement, free start protrusion length, all these has to be considered before doing a 
tensioning job. So guys, hope it is cleared for you. If you like the way of my teaching, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. Signing off, Showman.